Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this ReactJS video tutorial, we will learn about ref in ReactJS. So this is completely unique and important feature of ReactJS. I will tell you how. These are the points of this video. First of all, let's discuss them. We will learn that uh, why we use ref, how we can use it. We will make a class component because in this video, we will play with the ref and class component. In the next video, we will use ref inside functional component. So after that we will have we have a real life example with the ref and then some interview questions so uh first thing that i just want to tell you basically react js recommend that try to avoid ref as much as you can right but we can use them if we don't have any other options that time we can use ref right so the reason behind is that the ref is a feature that can modify your DOM directly, right? And React just say, if you modify DOM directly, then your application speed can be low, right? Because React just basically play with the virtual DOM and uh, with that uh, way if we use uh, if you modify the dom then it will impact your application performance right so that we must have to avoid ref as much as we can do but sometime we don't have any other ways we must have to use it right so now let's start that how we can do it and all so first of all uh, this is my uh, output of my application and this is uh, app.js component and this is a functional component so first of all let's convert it in the class component class app extends react dot component and we can use this written inside a render because we are using a class component oh my bad right and now let's see this is working as we are uh, get it previously so that's all so first of all when we want to use a ref we must have to import it so just import it with the name of create ref right and uh, now let's assign this to a property of our uh, class right so just simply use a super because we are using a constructor here even you know that in a class component we cannot use let war constant inside that right so that's why we will use property this dot uh, input ref right you can take any name whatever you want input ref custom ref xyz ref and uh, just uh, get the reference of create ref right so now as we know i already told you that the ref is a feature that can modify the dom directly so on which element we can modify a DOM you can do it only on, uh, on any uh, input or any element but I will just show the things with the input box because input box is a important thing many times we need to just get the value put the colors kind of things with the input box right so just uh, put here type is let's say text and all right and now you can see that we have a input box here so how we can apply this uh, a ref on input box so that we can just modify it for that there is a property with the element with the ref and in the ref we can simply just put here this dot input ref right and now we can access this element how so let's uh, just define a uh, first of all I will just show you the modification of this element and the DOM manipulation on a button click also but first of all let's see them on a component did mount component did mount because this lifecycle method will be always call after completely rendering of our component so we can just uh, console dot one here and just put here this dot input ref and now you will find that in that input we have a lots of properties current and here you can see that so that we can just modify these all properties right 
So let's say I just want to put some values here with the help of ref. So how can I put that? Just simply put here dot current dot uh, value and you can put some values like 1000, 100, whatever you want. Now you can see that we got the value here. So that directly it can impact or uh, modify our DOM. So that's uh, one example. So let's say I just want to change some colors and uh, more properties on a button click. So that how can I do it? For that, you can just simply put here, uh, check ref, some, some anything text, whatever you want to put on box and just click on click, define an event on click and uh, let's call a function. And uh, let's say my function name is get well or something. Right. And now let's define this function here. Mm. Get well. And uh, just make a console dot one here. And again, use this dot input ref, right? And first of all, you will find that get well is not defined because we must have to use here this. Right. So now whenever I will, I will click on it, we can get instance again. So now I just want to get some value here that user just put here manually. Right. So for that, I can just comment it because I don't want to put here some uh, by default values and just simply put here dot current dot value and you will get the value whatever I will put here. So let's say I'm just putting here my name Anil and you can see that you got here. If I just put here some other name and you can see that we got here, right? So this is that how we can just get the value. So now let's say you just want to change some color and all so that just use the same thing. This dot input ref dot current dot style dot color, right? And now color can be, let's say green and uh, you can see that whenever I will just click on it, the text is green here. I think you cannot watch it properly. So let me just put here red. Just let me add some text and you can see that text is red now. One more property. Let's see how can I change the background color. Let me put it black. Mm. and uh, let me just add some text and now you can see that I think I just uh, I did something wrong here just give me a moment let me just refresh it once sometime it's not working when we just on refresh okay just just give me a moment I think I just misspell something yep I just misspell background now I think fine <laughs> if, if, if this is still wrong then okay this is working fine great so with that way we can uh, just modify any element even it can be a div h1 tag whatever you want right so there can be more examples like we can just set a focus on it. We can just uh, remove a focus from it, right? And even we can forcefully hit a event on it, right? So uh, some features like how we can hit a event and how we can just make a focus in, we will learn in the next video, which we will use uh, th this ref inside our uh, functional component also, right? So now we have some question. Uh, that uh, maybe some guys can ask that uh, can we use more than one ref inside a single component? The answer is you can yes, you can do it, right? And second question might be can ask that how you can uh, use ref inside a functional component? The answer is you can use hook for that and the hook name is use ref, right? I just want to show you, you can just use here use ref. Even you cannot use this inside a class component, right? But you can use this only in a functional component. And one more question, you can answer this question in a comment box. 
can I use two ref on a single node, right? So let's say I have a ref one and I have a ref two here, right? Can I use these kind of things? Just answer these questions in a comment box. And if you still have own question and own query, you can still ask me in a comment box. Bye bye. God bless you. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video.